if you come to our school, what do you see? How is it so different? What makes this unusual? Number one, rigor. We are flat pushing these kids because we think we have dumbed down education in this country. We don't teach here in America. We don't even teach here in America. We teach here. If you think of all our major funding initiatives, Title I, Stimulus Plan, No Child Left Behind, everything is geared toward these kids. But when you look around the world, Finland, China, Russia, India, other countries sinking money into gifted programs, and in America, we're not even paying attention to gifted programs or funding gifted programs in this country. We have decided as a country to put our energy and effort here. What I decided to do 18 years ago, I didn't want to meet their needs by doing that and do a disservice to these kids at the same time. So I decided to flip things around. I decided to find my brightest kid in my class. I said, you know what I do? I'm going to do, instead of teaching here, I'm going to teach here, and I'm not only going to teach my gifted kid, I'm going to hold every kid in the class accountable for this level. I want to push this kid. Every day when he comes in, I want him to say, this is hard. I'm going to have to pay attention. I'm going to study tonight. But what I decided to do was hold every kid to that level. And some tell me, Ron, you're being naive. These kids can't get it. They got learned disabilities and problems. And I think in our country, as soon as we put a label on kids, we lower expectations. Putting a label on kids means we need to reach them differently. It doesn't mean we should lower expectations. I said, I'm going to leave the same expectation for all these kids because the more you expect, the more you're going to get. 